What is up, man? NFL 25 gamers. In today's episode of Blitz of the Day, we're still in the Houston, Texas playbook. The play we're going to look at today uh, is the 236 even, uh, the sub 236 even. I actually broke this down for uh, one of my buddies, Saints Boy 318, for a um, a little free ebook kind of deal on his website. A little, just a little mini scheme for him, and uh, he ended up giving me a, a shout out for it, which I'm really appreciative of. And I wanted to give you guys a little, uh, just a little bit of it before I break it down for a full scheme here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about it since it's later in the year. And, and obviously, you know, it's it's still very effective. And I want to talk about it because it's very, uh, it's very, very useful for you guys to learn. Um, but uh, the play we're going to focus on today uh, for pressure is the Sugar 3 seam. I not, well, uh, let's just let's do Sugar Blitz. We'll just do Sugar Blitz. And uh, the key to this, this formation is when we base the line and press, uh, what's going to happen is this linebacker here is going to go all the way out here. So some of you guys remember from nickel normal and nickel uh, nickel 416 and, and all those formations from last year when we would baseline and press, the linebackers would go into a specific gap. Well, the beauty of this formation, guys, is he stacks himself in perfect position for this pressure to work. So if we wanted to, all we have to do is all we got to do is we just got to crash our line out. This blitz angle is going to stay the same because it's a linebacker. So then we could just put this guy in his zone and user him. And that's a basic five-man overload blitzing concept that we've been using all season long. We're going to get the pressure off the right edge. Now, a couple of different – there's a, certainly a, a lot of different adjustments to this blitz. This is just a you know, a little bit of a, uh, an idea of how you may try to do it. And one thing I really like to do, and this is something I'm into. I don't know how any, anybody else is. Just because I'm used to the D-pad and I can make some adjustments pretty decently quick this year. If you just globally zone your linebackers and then re-blitz both outside linebackers every single time, that's going to automatically set up your basic looks. Because when you re-blitz these linebackers, it makes them get deeper. So they're going to get the pressure going to come in really fast off that right edge. So real quick, what I would do with this, and this is just an advanced look, is I'd base a line press, I'd crash my line out, I'd globally zone my linebackers, and I'd re-blitz both outside linebackers. And then if I wanted to, I could man a line, but you don't want to man a line of this because as you see, Slaughter goes right back to his position. You want him, you want to base a line and press. Obviously, that means that we could have some trouble with defending tight formations. We may have to move our corners in or whatever, but uh, this is just a very good pressure concept. I really like this uh, blitz, um, and I know if you guys want a full 3-4 uh, playbook breakdown, I know uh, my, my man over at MaddenUniverse.com, if you check him out, uh, Relly. Um, really broke down uh, the sub 146. I think he also took a look at the, three, the uh, 236, and I'm pretty sure he has a lot of 3 4 stuff. So definitely check out Rally. He's always got some great pressure, uh, always got some really nice defense out of this playbook. Uh, but I really I really just like that 236 stuff. So wanted to share that with you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, uh, I understand. Uh, but please leave a like rating anyway. And if you guys did enjoy it, please retweet the video on Twitter. It really helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, when I get like six or seven notifications a day telling me that you guys are favorited and retweeting my videos, it really means the world to me. So thanks for watching today, guys. Once again, leave your comments if you have any questions, if you need any help. Uh, if you need any further explanation, if you guys are looking for better videos or videos that talk more about the thought process of Madden or, you know, full schemes or whatever, be sure to check out some of the videos later on today. Um, post four videos a day, guys, and three of them are related to how you play the game. So try to check those out, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching this Blitz of the Day. We'll come back tomorrow with another pressure setup out of the Sub-236.